Hello, hello. Elixirs with clauses are awesome for organizing happy paths. But sometimes if we have a lot of else statements, that, that can get really messy, right? The sad path is messy. And that's kind of an anti-pattern and I wanna show you a quick refactoring. Let's take a look at this. We have a function here called open decoded file, right? It's not bad, it's doing a couple of things. And if you look at here, this is not too terrible, but it's actually hard to know where this error is coming from, right? Is this error coming from the file read uh, function? Or is this one coming from file read, right? And you can imagine that the more clauses we have, the more errors we would have to match here and they could potentially overlap. So what's the refactoring? Let's take a look at a different implementation. Suppose we have this, right? Open decoded file. We are gonna create two helper functions that are gonna abide by some somewhat of an API, right, for errors, right? In this case, you see it's only the happy path. And so we move the error directly in the helper function. So read file reads the file, and it knows that when it errors, it's gonna return an error bad file, right? So this is what I'm calling our API for this private function is gonna return okay or error, right? And we're gonna do the same thing with decode. Here's decode, it's gonna decode the file, it's gonna return okay decoded, or the error that's happening. So now our errors actually live close to the source where they're happening, and this makes our code a lot clearer. In the Elixir docs, this is called complex else clauses in width. It's an anti-pattern and I recommend you go check them out. Hope you like it.